Hello Church, we're looking at Galatians chapter 3 today for our daily Bible reading. Word of the day is guardian. Guardian in response to, well, why did God give the law? If one could not be justified by the law or by works, as Paul outlined in the previous chapter, then why do we have the law at all? And he gets into that here. So into chapter 3, picking up in verse 23, we read this. Now before faith came, we were held captive under the law imprisoned until the coming faith would be revealed. So then, the law was our guardian until Christ came, in order that we might be justified by faith. But now that faith has come, we are no longer under a guardian. For in Christ Jesus you are all sons of God through faith. For as many of you were baptized into Christ, have put on Christ. There is neither Jew nor Greek, there is neither slave nor free, there is no male and female, for you are all one in Christ Jesus." And if you are the Christ, then you are Abraham's offspring, heirs according to promise. All right, so Paul here is connecting the promise that God made to Abraham before the Mosaic law was given was this same basic uh, blessing of faith, believing in Christ. Believing in uh, means to just trust God. That's what Abraham did. And the law given after Abraham was a guardian, was to guide, was to um, guard and to give guidelines on how to behave. But all along it was to point to Christ, the one who would live out the law perfectly so that by our faith in him, we could be placed in Christ or have Christ's righteousness placed on us. So our sin is covered by Christ's perfect life, his sinlessness, can be accredited to us. And so that's the beauty of the law. It was a guardian protecting, guiding, um, ultimately so that Christ could fulfill it so that we could be saved through his self-sacrificing act of sinless death on a cross. All right, that is the gospel. The law was a guardian uh, protecting, pointing us to the need for a savior. All right, church, have a great day.